When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy. Here we are this evening, we're anchored up, Lady Musgrave, you can see a lot of storm activity out there, and we're sort of hoping that we actually do get some because we want to top our water tanks up with our little contraption that we made today, and a uh, little tarp here set up with our hose running down to our tank, oh. and um, <laughs> if we look over here, Taj has just brought up the uh, bomb radar. How are we looking, Taj? Pretty bad. Yeah. Got a lot of red there, a lot of storm action moving out towards us. So hopefully we get some rain and we get a little bit of water in our tanks. And that way we can stay out here a little bit longer. Because, uh, yeah, we don't want to leave just yet. And water is sort of uh, the thing that draws us back to the mainland until we get our water maker which then we'll be right. rain, our little contraption here, I can feel water gathering, we've got water going into our tank, but we're still not going to waste the water in our tank. Mella and I are going out in this storm and we're having a shower, just to save that little extra bit of water. And it is bucketing, and it it's, I can feel the water coming down the line now, so this is working. I'm coming too! We're going, let's shower time Bella. So we've got water going into our tanks. Woo! Is it coming out? <laughs> How was that? Pretty good. Yeah. have a spotlight just to check. Hey guys, so it's uh, day five at Lady Musgrave again. Um, I just woke up. It's about six in the morning. Well, I didn't just wake up. Maybe half an hour ago. Uh, Lee's about to go fishing. He's going, just, uh, going fishing. He wants to catch a coral trout. So hopefully that's what he comes back with. Uh, we had a big storm last night and we got heaps of water in our tanks, which was awesome. We were hoping we'd get a little bit more, but we still got some, so it's better than nothing. Um, today's pretty exciting. We've got two friends of ours coming out to stay with us for five days. So, um, Clay and Danielle, and yeah, we can't wait. It'll be nice to see some friends, some familiar faces, and uh, have some people to show this beautiful part of the world to. Looking forward to that, so really excited. Um, that's about it. I think I'm going to do some yoga while Lee goes fishing and the kids are still asleep. So, here goes Lee. Good luck, babe. We might uh, show you a bit of a day in the life of Catalpa today, too. So it will be a little bit of a different day because we've got some friends coming, but we can show you guys what we get up to and how we live. Breakfast! Smoothie. Deliciousness. Listen, kind of a thing. What do you want to call it? Marriage. Where's my husband's at? Yeah. It's good. So it's now schoolwork time. Kids are doing some of their homeschool. What are you doing, Tash? Um, comprehension what? Comprehension? Bella's over here. What are you doing, sweetie? Science. Science. So 
So we usually do about two to three hours of work most days, depending what we're doing. And usually try and get it either done early in the morning or late in the afternoon because we like to go and explore and have fun. So today we're doing it in the morning because our friends are going to arrive in about an hour or an hour and a half. So we're getting their work out of the way. So we had some old bananas or really ripe bananas that needed to be used up. So I just made some banana bread. Just going to put it in the oven. Yum. Is that Playing daddy out on the boat. Here we have the big cat today, bringing our friends in. And we get a new dinghy. Oh. See him? <laughs> yeah, wave. No, uh, Lee's off to go get Clay and Danny out. We'll sit here waiting patiently because we can't all fit in the boat. <laughs> Bye. Bring back some friends. Clay and Danielle managed to bring out a new tender for us. It was a lot bigger than our old one, as our old one didn't fit us all in. We had a lot of trouble, um, the four of us, Taj, Bella, me and Lee, diving with all our gear. It used to fill up with water and it uh, was a bit on the edge of sinking sometimes. So we're really stoked that Clay and Danielle were able to bring this boat out and um, replace our other tender with an inflatable that we can go diving and not sink. So all six of us could fit in here with all our dive gear, which is really exciting. We uh, got to explore a lot of the, around the island, the outer reef, and it was uh, good times. So Clay and Danielle are actually from Canada, so this was their first time on the Great Barrier Reef. So we were stoked to be able to show them this beautiful island and what it had to offer. So we didn't waste any time. After blowing up our new tender, we got into the boat and went diving.
imagine having to do that when you're just doing water and then you get out and like what? He's so heavy trying yeah. to get up the beach. It's amazing how they dig too, like you were watching one night, it was so long. The back the way they use their back flippers is incredible. And the birds are already. They bend like, them right there. under their body and then yeah. and like it was, it was unreal. So here we have the turtle digging its nest. It's pretty messy but takes a long, long time. She keeps resting and unresting and resting and unresting and resting. What I'm doing now is gonna check if the turtle's still laying. All right, here I go. There's lots of birds. I don't wanna spook this mother, okay? So I'm gonna go. Problem. I don't know where the turtle is. Oh, yeah, found her. We got time on our side. When I stayed on home, I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. boys catching squid and clay gets inked. We have some epic dives and fun times. You'll be 